here we have just some pulsed dates that I soaked in a little bit of water for about 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to take those and we are going to add some of our Adam's peanut butter. This stuff is great. Sometimes it does separate, so you have to mix the oil into it, but the only ingredients in this peanut butter are just gonna be peanuts and a hair of salt. Look at that, look at how creamy that peanut butter is. And it smells so good. So the dates are gonna be a little bit sweeter, a little bit softer, easier to blend because we did soak them. All right, and we have some agave. This is even gonna sweeten it up more. Wait till you find out what this treat is we're gonna do. We're gonna put about two tablespoons, but again, this is gonna be to your taste. So whatever you choose is absolutely fine. I'm gonna just scrape a little bit off of the edges here. Did you say you could also use honey? Oh yeah, you could use honey. Uh, you could use maple syrup if you choose. Good old fashioned sugar if you want. But we like to do agave in this house. All right, we're just gonna blend this up again. Let's give it a check for some texture. Ooh, this looks awesome. All right, let's just see. Can you see this? Check that out. Oh, look at how good this is. This is perfect. All right, we're gonna set this aside for a moment and move on to our next step. All right, we've got uh, almond flour here. This is sifted, so it's just really nice and fine. We're gonna pop uh, about two cups of flour in here. That looks about right. Yeah, let's just do a little bit more. How about two and a half? <laughs> All right. We're gonna, again, we're gonna take our agave, right? And we're just gonna pour a little on top. We're gonna do a shortbread crust here. Okay, so a little bit of agave. And then just a sprinkle of salt. You can use any salt you choose. It's just for taste. Just to add in, put a little bit more. Hmm. We like to do the pink Himalayan salt here, but whatever you want works, okay? And then let's just give it a little stir and see where we're at. Okay, just do a little sprinkle. Let's stir it up. And it's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to kind of come together, see? You can pack it down a little bit and it's looking pretty good. Now one little more step here. Just gonna take a little tablespoon or so of that nougat we've already made and mix it in just to add a little bit of uh, flavor, a little bit more dynamic to this, okay? See how it's starting to crumble? That's exactly what you're looking for in a shortbread. Go ahead and get in there now that it's starting to come together. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, see how it's packing together and making nice clumps? That's exactly what we're looking for. And it can come together just like almost as if you could form a ball with it. And that's where you wanna stop and move on to our next step. All right, we're gonna pop some parchment paper right on into a baking dish. You can use a bread pan or whatever you choose. But I'm just gonna pour that shortbread crust right in there, okay? You can see the ball in there. All right, and then we're just gonna pack it down and spread it evenly across, okay? Try and patch up any of these little holes we get and get it spread nice and evenly across the bottom here. Really pack it down. Nice and thin. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna grab that nice nougaty mixture. Pour that right on top. You see that? This, oh man, this smells so good. Cannot wait for you to give these a try on your own, okay? It'll be awesome. We gotta go pretty gentle here. I don't wanna pick up too much of the crust. A little bit's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
All right, that's all spread out nice and thin. Last, we're gonna take some dry roasted peanuts. These are unsalted, because again, we already added uh, salt to the mixture, and we're just gonna sprinkle some of these right on top. Look at all. Oh. And it's peanut buttery, it's creamy, it's gonna have a nice little crunch to it. Pop these right on there. Now, I'll put some right here too. Yeah, more <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> more peanuts, why not? All right, and then we're just gonna take this mixture and we're gonna put it right into the freezer for about two hours until it's completely hardened. We've had these sitting in the freezer for a little while now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna cut them, cut them right down, evenly down the center. Maybe not, maybe not evenly. But it is what it is. It's fine. There. Pretty serious knife you got there. It's just a great knife. Look at this guy. It's, it's just a butcher knife. Cuts through like butter. Okay. I'm just going to place these off to the side for a moment because I don't want to waste this parchment paper. Just reuse it because why would I throw it out if I can still get one more use out of it for this recipe. But look at how good these are. Look at the nice little layers we got. Okay, get some nuts. Don't worry about the peanuts. It still looks off. chewy too. Oh yeah, That's definitely it. a little bit chewy still. I'm just gonna put uh, that parchment paper right on a tray, okay? And now for the fun part. We've got some melted chocolate. Look at this, okay? And just to melt the chocolate, you go 30 seconds at a time and you just mix it up in the microwave. So microwave 30 seconds, give it a mix, 30 seconds, give it a mix. We use the Lint's 70% uh, chocolate, but you can use whatever one you want, right? And uh, we're just gonna get to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my bar, place it right in there, and then just kind of throw some chocolate right on top. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we wanna get those peanuts covered, okay? And then we'll just pop it right on down. Look at that, oh, it's gonna be good. I know the first person who's gonna taste, wanna try one of these. Who is that? Yeah, it would be you. Oh, come on. Oh, absolutely. This is right up your alley. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> yes, looks awesome. So this had been uh, sitting in the refrigerator for just a couple minutes, so probably not long enough, but I couldn't resist. I needed to take a bite, okay? So here we go. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Look. See those layers? You can't see this one, but eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. Drop peanuts in there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe, get it together. <laughs> Look at that texture. All right. You got the peanuts, that nougat, that crusty layer, and then that chocolate on the outside. This yeah, let me really, try a really bite good. or what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is really good. You should try these. Mm. Definitely. Let should me know I? What you think. Yeah. Okay. Let me know what you think, guys. Post in the comments. <laughs>